Oh, whiskey will be a single more whiskey for the rest of the night. Um, diluted, but just let them know you brought the shit, you know what I mean? Then you take a wee sip. A wee sip. Under tongue in that. And you're probably tasting about 80% of the flavour just now. Because if you look at any bottle, 43% of this bottle, boom, a massive chunk. It's pure alcohol. It's like white spirit, you know what I mean? So that's what's giving you that warmth there. But we want to taste all these delicate flavours which have taken so long to get into this whiskey in the area, you know? And at the moment we're going to taste about 80%. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to put a tiny little spit of room temperature, tepid water on its back. What this will do is open it up fully, boom, like a flower. It'll lose the legs, for sure. We name our legs now. Barman, we want to fucking work, you know what I mean? Um, but what I'll do is um, it'll open up the flower completely as such. Boom! And now I'll taste 100%. The water will have quashed that 43% alcohol feel. And all I'll be tasting is 100% of the flavour, which the distillers which slaved away for 15 years, um, or waited 50 years in the barrel, never meant 20 years to prepare the barrel, to get what we want me to actually taste. And now I'm tasting 100%. The flavours available. I've got no whiskey burn. You know I mean? but the little after it is nice little warm, but it's a warm with all the flavours. It's like, so pleasant. Now if I was to put cold water in it. Um, if, what's your name? If Sam's granny or granddad, say Sam's granny made this whiskey, worked in the distillery, that she'd been dedicating the last like, kind of however many decades of her life to produce this minute little spirit. If she see me putting very cold water on its back, she'd bit slap me across the face. You know what I mean? Because that cold water would eliminate about 40% of the taste buds on my palate. So I'd only be tasting 60%. They're not going to do even. If I wanted to taste 60%, ignorant man, buy yourself a Johnny Walker, you know what I'm saying? It's half the price and you don't know what you're drinking. Ice, sacred blue, start stringing up the lynching rope just about. You know I mean, because ice will take away like even more of your power, you know? To be so insulting as to put like Coca-Cola or something on its back, the fucking sacred <laughs> rope, lynch, it's gone. You know what I mean? Um, Coca-Cola or iron blue, which you can make... You could fill Loch Ness wire and brew in what? In fact, you could probably do it in like a day or something, you know what I mean? Compared to these single malt whiskies, like, let me give you an example. Bell's Distillery, they, they're a blended whiskey, like your Johnny Walkers or whatever. The blended whiskeys, no word of single malt malt. And they produce 55,000 barrels a week, you know? These guys and that are producing like 15, 1 5 barrels a week, you know what I mean? You smell the coffee on the like massive scale difference. You know what I mean? Why we can't supply flipping that time dedicated for Sam's granny and that. There's only fifth there's only five point one two five million of us in total in Scotland. And not every single fucking one of us is working in the production of whiskey to supply the eighty million Scottish descendants. Never mind the massive, which is almost equal Asian market. Fuck all to do with Scottish descendants. He just loves your whiskey, man. You know what I mean? Or India or whatever else. These massive world markets. We just cannot supply. Impossible. You know what I mean? And the single malt whiskies don't do it. They're the je ne sais quoi. They're the best of the best. You know. So ninety percent of the world's whiskies. Your Johnny Walker your bells, your grouse, your white Mackay, all that shit, the blending stuff. Cheap, cheerful. Basically, the clever Scotsmen, they, didn't, they knew there was this world demand for the single malt whiskey, but they knew they could never supply it. And they thought, fuck, we're not going to let billions and pounds of trade and business slip by. So the clever candy Scotsmen invented blended whiskey. Much cheaper, much quicker, much easier to produce, you know? And the thing with blended whiskies is, as I say, there's no word single, that means it can come from 110 different distilleries throwing the grog together. There's no mention of expensive ingredient, barley, well, not barley, but malt, you know? Um, and that refers to the malt 